What's up guys, just Joe here with Off Grid Living tips for solar panels and electricity. So it's been more than hot this summer in Texas. In June, it was as hot as August normally is. We could not take it anymore dealing with the just solar and having to run the generator at night for the ACs. So we decided to hook up to the electricity pole, which is directly by the house. That being said, we bought the power pole just as you would for the electric company, set the grounding rod. Um, that's, that's basic. Uh, the point I want to get to is the fact that we installed a manual transfer switch, which you can purchase on Amazon. I will leave a link below for the one that we purchased. It is a 100 amp transfer switch. Manual transfer switch, I might add. So what I did was I took my 6-3 wire that we went and bought at Lowe's, which if you have to do that, 30 foot costs $260 now. It is July 2024. That to me is outrageous, but you have to have wire. So at least we didn't have to get more than 30 feet. So we ran from the power pole that we put in underneath ground, came up there. So I've got the electricity company wires wired to the top. Your neutral bar and this transfer switch is right down there. So this is very basic and primitive and I like the, that fact actually. So the electric company, two hots are in the top. The neutral of course is on the neutral bar. We were already hooked up to solar. So this wire running through the sky that goes to our inverter in our energy room went directly to our house, which goes to our main breaker box. So all I did was cut that wire right here run the house to the center of this switch. And then the inverter is ran to the bottom of this switch. And of course their neutrals are also in the neutral bar. So it's very basic. You're gonna have one, the electric company hooked up to one end and your solar hooked up to the other end. That being said, if you don't have solar, that can be wind, that can be a generator alone. It can be any type of power and the house or whatever your main power is, is in the center. So now if I wanted to switch it to solar, I just switch that down and we're running on solar. Right now we're running on electricity company just because this is the first time ever in four years that we've been able to do so. So we have both ACs running right now. We'll probably switch it back to solar tonight. And the really the, the hot months, are really the only time we do need the electricity company. So this is, you know, in a few months, it'll probably stay switched down here most of the time. So I just wanted to make a video on this transfer switch off of Amazon because I could not find any videos. And it was very, um, very easy. Like I said, you've got two hots from the house that go to the center you've got two hots from the electric company and you've got two hots from your solar wind or generator and as you can see you could obviously put the electric company down low solar up here but anyways that's either or that's your choice but up for us is power company down is solar so like i said i will leave a link in the description for this 100 watt transfer box. I do like it. Anyways, have a good day, guys.